The transport sector in Nigeria is no doubt one of the highest employers of labor. But as big as this sector is, the players in the sector are envisaging an imminent danger for transport owners, passengers and even the economy. Hence, this conference which brings together all stakeholders to chart a way forward. Road safety officials say an all-encompassing regulatory and standard rule is mandatory. We have discovered over time, before now, that uh, the road transport sector has become a case of all commands. You are able to buy one bus, you put it on the road. It is largely unregulated. And this has led to recklessness of drivers, which has resulted in colossal loss of lives. For transport company owners, the earlier they have standard operating policy, the better for them, especially in this kind of sector which still needs more business participants. 400,000 commuters travel, travel out of Lagos alone in a day. If we have, if we, and of course, if you look at even the big players in the market, they don't have enough buses, they don't have enough infrastructure to transport all of these uh, passengers uh, from Lagos. It means that if people come in, either as a government, either as a private enter enterprise entrepreneurs, the market is big. At the conference, the stakeholders agree on this. Everybody to work together to ensure that we, we, we put forward uh, policies that we ensure safety, that we ensure better service delivery, that we ensure return on uh, investment. In days to come, Nigerians are expecting to see a regulated transport sector, which may also usher in a competitive regime in one of the most loose but lucrative sector in Nigeria's economy. Rashid Rashid. PTV News, Lagos.